I'd like to go check out this little old train depot out here. Oh, much fun. When it comes to real hauntings, our next guest tracks them down. Welcome paranormal investigators Gabriel Morales and Melanie Arlen, who is a team incident. Okay, this is, you know, the million dollar question. You'll ask people, do you believe in this? No, people who will say absolutely, and others who say, oh, come on. But you are a skeptic until when? Well, I'm an open minded skeptic. Uh, I approach the whole thing as logically as possible, but uh, I also believe that there's a possibility that paranormal activity might exist. Yeah, so you get calls from people who say something weird's happening in our home and you literally go in and investigate. Well, basically what I do is I make the calls to, we, we go to a lot of historic places. We don't mm -hmm. do a lot of private, private investigations, ones. but we do mostly historic public loca uh, locations. And I give them a call, and they tell me what, what their experiences are, and we're like, okay, well, we're there. Let's, yeah. let's come in with our equipment and set up. And you are what you call a sensitive. And so what role do you play? What does that mean? Um, that means when we go into some place that I'll just get feelings. I'll get, you know, not like not like a psychic ability. I, that's not anywhere close, but you'll just you'll pick up feelings of either anger or sadness or anxiety just in the room and I'll be so something the that either could have gone on in that room or that spirit is is present in that room and those are just feelings yeah just the, just the residual left over in the building yeah there are a number of things that you've done that you can't explain give us an example of one of those i think uh the one thing that sticks out of my mind is when we went to the uh odd hotel and for local paranormal groups odd hotel is a is a hot spot um well when we went there were these two rooms that were completely sealed off and walled off. Well, one of our group members took some pictures, and in one of the pictures in one of the rooms that was walled off, there was an image of a little girl looking out the window. And this wasn't a smudge, it wasn't a shadow, it was an apparition of a little girl yeah. looking out the window. Yeah, and we're looking at, it's kind of hard to see right here, but when we see it blown up, you can actually see that. Yeah, when that. you zoom yeah. in on yeah. it, uh -huh. yeah. there's a little girl just there. She now is. that, I couldn't explain that. And well, we went back and we asked the owner, uh, if it's somebody that she knows, somebody that snuck in, and she said there is no way anybody could have been in there. There's no there entry. Was no wall off yeah. the, in the room, the door was nailed shut. My thought is there is no way in hell anybody could get to that room. It was behind the wall with the door screwed shut. And, that's and why was it walled off? Well, at the time, what she had told us that it was a liability. Her insurance company told her it was a liability to open it up to the public because it was so active. Let's Both of yeah. these rooms, this is the one that's I just finished. We opened it. It, even have a, it doesn't even have a number on the door yet. Um, is the one the lawyer said we couldn't technically rent out because we, we know that things don't get thrown in there. I mean, stuff goes flying from one side of the room to the other. Well, we plan on spending a lot of time in you there know. Right, so. And so, he said we technically couldn't rent it out to a guest spending the night because if something flew across and hit him in the head, we'd be liable. Okay. So they decided to renovate and open it up. And yeah. they did open up one room uh, a year later when we went back. So, and we actually investigated that room where that little, where we caught the picture of the little girl in. And there was still one more room that was still inaccessible. And when we were sitting in that room, we started hearing sounds coming out of that last room, the one that was still walled off, stuff being moved around, and, and then eventually we caught what sounded like a, a giggle of a little girl. So. All right, we have medium investigator Jenna Hickman, who's also with us. So you've been to the Ott Hotel as well? Yes. And what did you pick up? Is there anybody in this room that wants to make contact with us? Can you move the curtains? Can you make our radio go off again? just heard a loud bang in the forbidden, forbidden room. Something like, like something like boards. Are you guys in there now? We are in the forbidden room, but you know how there's one room next to us? It, it, it made it again. There's something moving in there. Okay, go silent, go silent.
over there. Yeah. Oh, it's in, in that room? Yeah. yeah. There was some banging in that room over there. No, there's, it's in this room. We're sitting here talking all of a sudden, bam, bam. It's it's like it's scraping and movement. I mean. That was a little kid laughing. Yeah, I heard that too. You want to say something to us? You want to communicate to us? They don't change anything. But it's like somebody's holding down the other end. You see? Well, mine's right there. He's, yeah, he's not. No, he, no, we already tested. See, that's it. what we're trying to figure out. What the hell's going on? What? Is it the camera? He had the camera on earlier and you were in that other room and nothing. And it he could had be the, the camera. camera though. Unless it's using the battery. It could be the camera. Yeah, but you were sitting down. This was on your hip and the camera was in the air. Yeah, it just went off by itself, but... But look, it, it just keeps... Oh, I think it's the camera. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, you see, yeah, see I'm, I'm thinking. It's the okay, well, that's not good anymore. Okay, let's try this. But for a moment there. Put it, put, let's not hold it and put the camera over there without, to move the camera around it. Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. Did you hit Okay. What the hell? <laughs> okay, it was the recorder though, wasn't it? <laughs> you press record. This is not making sense now. Come over here. Okay. Alright, now it's weird. Anything different? Yeah, no, I wasn't even touching it. 
But I'm saying you didn't change anything right now. No, I just... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs>